I mean, it's a good question why write a commentary on any book, let alone Colossians. There's no shortage of them out there. I think if I look at some of my previous work, writing a commentary on the Gospel of Peter was very easy to justify. There is no, well before I did mine, no English language treatment of the text as a commentary. Colossians is much harder to justify because you and I could both name maybe 20 excellent commentaries on it. One thing that did make it new and interesting for me was the fact that there's been a lot of at least preliminary archaeological um, exploration of the site in recent years. And I think that's changed our perspectives on Colossae. So there was an earthquake in the region probably in the early 60s. And um, the mantra used to be, because it was assumed the whole site was destroyed, that um, if the letter was by Paul, it had to be written as late as possible in his life, if not by Paul, as early as possible afterwards. Well, I think what the um, archaeological exploration has shown is the site continued to be inhabited, probably for quite a long time afterwards. But I think for one thing, it opens up the range of possible dates for the letter. It also throws up new evidence about some of the activities in Colossae, the size of the city and so on. So I think we do have some new contextual evidence that we can bring in there. So I, I think that's one of the reasons. I think another reason is that um, the whole debate around Paul and Pauline studies, what really was the centre of his theology, has moved on quite a bit in recent decades. So I think revisiting the text, both in light of the archaeological evidence and also in light of some of the theological advances we've had justifies turning to a very familiar text again. Yeah, I mean, the question of what type of commentary, what level, what you're hoping to achieve is an important one to think about before you engage on the task. Um, the commentary I wrote is in a series, the Black's New Testament commentaries. So in some ways, that flags up, in a way, the type of commentary. I perhaps wrote at a slightly more academic level than some of the other commentaries in the series, not all. A few things enabled me to do that. First of all, Colossians is a relatively short text, 95 verses, so it gives more scope to go into detail there. Um, I also wanted to interact more with the Greek text at a number of points. Um, so that was very important for me to not just give a translation, but to try and unpack in detail some of the options I took with the translations. I also wanted to explore more the overall theology of the letter, because I think a number of commentaries are very good at describing the contents of the letter but I wanted to ask more why the author wrote those contents, why that selection, why this message. So I think I wanted both to pitch it at a level which would be useful to those in university as well as those in pastoral situations, but also as much as I could bring people up to speed with the theological issues in Colossians. Surprisingly, the challenging aspect to writing it in some ways is still selectivity. Um, you know, it's 500 pages long, but one is aware of the volume of scholarship that's gone before, that you are still choosing which aspects you're going to go into in more detail. I try to be fairly disciplined in making sure enough space was devoted to each verse because you know, it is a commentary on the text, and the text should guide what's said. So um, I try to get a split between probably the introduction, which is about a quarter to a third of the length of the commentary, and leaving enough space to go into the verse-by-verse -verse comments. Because sometimes I, I think the whole basis on which you 
construct your introductory comments is not a verse in isolation. The strength of writing a commentary is having that feel of the whole text. And sometimes you see things are repeated or you get a better sense of what the author really is trying to emphasize in this letter Colossians. So the challenge, I think, together is really selecting where to put your emphasis and also trying to decide what readers might want to know about the text as well.